Okay, so it's great that you've, uh, you are considering choosing art and design as your GCSE course, okay? Um, so what does art and design involve? So the course is broken down into two main projects, okay? If you put your portfolio project, which is 60% of your overall grade, and then you've got your externally set project, okay, which is 40% of your overall grade. They're both incredibly exciting. Um, all the work that you will do is incredibly exciting, um, but there is a lot of it. It starts right from the beginning in year 10, Okay, so everything you do from year 10 until when you leave the project, uh, leave the course, sorry, um, in year 11 um, is marked um, to your final GCSE, okay? Um, each project is then broken down into four assessment objectives. You've got AO1, which is developing ideas through investigations. AO2, refining work through exploring ideas, different materials, um, different media, techniques and processes. You've got AO3, which is refining, um, recording ideas, sorry, um, observations and insights relevant to your chosen topic. And AO4 is presenting a personal response um, that realizes intentions um, and demonstrates understanding of visual language. Let's have a look at what those mean a little bit further on. So AO1 is about developing an idea, having an initial thought and then using it as a purposeful investigation. It shows that you can understand the sources in which you're looking at and that you can reference back to those sources. You then got AO2, okay? So AO2 is about refining the work that you do. This one is about exploring loads of different materials and refining your work throughout those projects so that you see a bit of a journey through those projects and that you haven't just done things um, that make no sense. You'll explore lots of different materials on this. And next year, we've got the um, kiln coming in so that you've got to have ceramics. We've got a really beautiful printing etching, etching press um, that you can use. Uh, we've got lots of different paints and mixed media, um, the sewing machines, um, and SLRs as well. So it's a really exciting um, part of that of the um, of the course. Okay, so AO3 leads on from that. So it's about exploring those materials. It's about trying different techniques, but recording those. So drawing, painting, printing, photography, um, and annotating your ideas as well. Um, it's good to develop your recording methods so that you're not just sticking to one, but you're using a wide variety of those recording methods. And they should be linked to your idea. So from your start idea, it should be developing all the way through. You've then got AO4, which is your presenting your personal response. So this is the end product for pro product from your um, the project that you've been doing, okay? So this can be done in very di many different forms. Whatever you have started to investigate, it will carry on developing into this uh, towards the end. So this can be um, a piece of ceramics, this can be a massive painting, it can be a very tight drawing. It can be anything that really works to your strengths and something that you're really interested in. I think it's really worth mentioning what career choices you can have with art. Um, there's over two million jobs in the creative industry at this very moment, and those can include um, art therapy, teachers, lecturers, designers, illustrators, you could work in conservation, architecture, as well as jobs in theatre and fashion. For me, art is a really exciting opportunity to take. Okay, so if you want to know anything more about any of this, then please speak to either myself, Mrs Barlow, or Miss Wilson. And remember, the earth without art is just uh.